السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. You are welcome back to our to the continuation of our e-learning program. Once more, I'm Mr. Alagbe Bashir. Last time we met, we discussed about geometry one. So, inshallah, we want to continue with geometry two. So, under this geometry two, we want to look at parallel lines, intercepts. Theorem, similar triangle, congruent triangle, and parallelograms. Now, before we move on, we want to look at some theorems. It is these theorems that will enable us to be solving some problems on either parallelograms, triangles, or other things or congruent triangles. So let us look at theorem 1. Theorem 1 states that if two parallel lines are intercepted by a transversal 1, the alternate angles are equal to the corresponding angles are equal 3. The interior angle on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Now, let us look at this diagram. Look at line AB. Look at line AB. There is an arrow there. Also look at line CD. There is also an arrow. This arrow shows that line AB is parallel to line CD. Line AB is parallel to line CD. This line XY is what we call a transversal. A transversal. That is, it crosses the two parallel lines. So in this case, triangle APQ, or sorry, angle APQ is equal to angle PQD, that is alternate angle. Look at it once more. Angle APQ is equal to angle PQD. That is alternate angle. Likewise, angle XPB is equal to angle PQD. That is corresponding angle. We we'll call it corresponding angle. Also, Angle XPE is equal to angle PQC, corresponding angle. Also, angle APQ is equal to angle CQY, is also corresponding angle. But note, angle P. BPQ plus angle PQD is equal to 180 degrees. That is two right angles. Are we together? So that is that. Now let us look at example one. Now, calculate the marked angles in figure below. Calculate the marked angles in figure below. Look at line AB is parallel to line CD. Is that clear? Solution. Draw another line parallel to the two parallel lines. That is two parallel lines AB and CD. This is the line. So we have drawn the line EF that is parallel to both line AB and line CD. 
d. Are we together? Are we together? So when we draw a parallel line like that, it means that from here, angle O, C, D is 25 before. Therefore, angle O, C, D will be equal to angle A, O, E. A, O, E, which is equal to 25. Are we together? Sorry. Angle O, C, D is equal to angle C, O, E. That is 25 degrees. It means that it is alternate angle. Are we together? It is alternate angle. Therefore, angle A, O, C is equal to 42 degrees. Can you see it? It's 42 degrees. Are we together? But angle C, O, E is equal to angle O, C, D. That is alternate angle. I've said that before. Exactly. Therefore, therefore, angle COE is equal to angle OCD, which is equal to 25 degrees. Are we together? This implies that angle AOE is equal to angle AOC minus angle EOC. Therefore, angle AOE is equal to 42 degrees minus 25 degrees. Therefore, angle AOE is equal to 17 degrees. Since angle AOE is equal to angle BAF, that is alternate angle. That is what? Alternate angle. This therefore implies that this therefore implies that Angle BAF is equal to 17 degrees. Is that clear? BAF is equal to 17 degrees. Since A, angle AOE is equal to angle BAF, that is alternate angle. Therefore, angle BAF is equal to 17 degrees. Are we together? Now, if that one is known, let us move on to example 2. This example 2 is the same thing as example 1. Is that clear? Therefore, we are asked in the example 2 that we should calculate the marked angle in the figure below. Solution. Solution. Draw a line EF parallel to line AB and CD. Have you seen it? Have you seen the parallel lines EF? That's fine. Is that clear? Therefore, reflect angle BOD, which is equal to 270 degrees. 270 degrees. Are we together? Therefore, angle BOD is equal to 360 degrees minus 270 degrees, which will give us 90 degrees. Are we together? Therefore, Angle B A B O is equal to angle B O F, which is equal to X. That is alternate angle. Also, angle C D O is equal to angle D O F, which is equal to F. That is alternate angle. Therefore, angle B O D is equal to 2X, which is equal to 90 degrees. Is that clear? Is that clear? Therefore, X now will be equal to 90 degrees divided by 2, divided by 2, which is equal to 45 degrees. Are we together? Therefore, angle X is what? Is 45 degrees. Are we together? Are we together? So, whenever you are given something like this, you will try as much as possible to do what? to draw another line that is parallel to the two lines. Once you know what we call corresponding angles and then alternate angles, everything will be easier for you. Are we together? So inshallah, 
what we have done so far is we are talking about theorem number one, which says that if two parallel lines are intersected by in a transversal, the alternate angles are equal, then the corresponding angles are also equal, and then the interior angles on the same side of a transversal are supplementary. Are we together? So, inshallah, that is where we are going to stop for today. Inshallah, by next time we are going to meet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.